So let's consider practice five. In the first part of question, PQ is given as 2x, PR is x centimeters, and angle QPR is 104 centimeters. The area of PQR is given as 12.5 cm squared. Find the value of x. So let's use our formula again. So in this case, we know that half times PQ times PR sine of angle QPR is equals to 12.5 cm squared. Okay. Now let's substitute in all these values. Half times 2x, x, and then sine 104 degrees is given as 12.5. Now in this case here, what we get is the two cancel off. Let's multiply out the x. You get x squared sine one zero four degrees equals to twelve point five. Then x squared equals to twelve point five divided by sine one hundred and four degrees. Finally, x equals to square root. 12.5 over sine 104 degrees. Uh, we are ignoring the negative value because in this case, x cannot be negative. And then we get a value of 3.5892, given as uh, three significant figures, because in the final value is rounded off to three significant figures. Three point five nine and that is the value of x let's now consider the second question in practice five okay what we have is triangle xyz with x x y being five centimeters y z equals to six centimeters and the area of x y z given as 12 cm squared uh, we're supposed to find the angle x y z as always, one of, the good, one of the best things that you can do is to sketch out a diagram. So in this case, let's sketch this out. We have a triangle, x, y, z. Again, it doesn't have to be accurate. We just want to know where everything is. Okay, that's x, y, z. Uh, we know that x, y is 5 centimeters. y, z is 6 centimeters. And we have this angle over here, which is what we want to get. Okay, so let's close off this triangle. Uh, let's use our area of triangle formula and generate an equation. Okay. So in this case, we have at half times five times six, and then the sine of the angle, which is what we want to find, sine angle x, y, z is given as 12. Okay, so let's move things around such that we get this equation, sine angle x, y, z is given by 12, multiply that by 2, from the half on the other side, then divide by 5 times 6. Okay, so what you get is this value here, sine angle xyz equals to 24 over 30, which is 0 0.8. And uh, all we have to do now is to do an inverse sine to get your angle xyz is we do an inverse sine of this value, 0.8. Okay. You'll find that when you do an inverse sine of this value, you'll get a value of an angle of 53.130. And then you round it off to the uh, to 1 dp, since this is an angle, 53.1 degrees. Okay. Unfortunately, this will not be the final answer. There's also another alternative answer that you will need to get. Okay. 
what you found is only the obtuse angle. There is also another angle, the obtuse angle, which will also satisfy sine x, y, z equals to 0 0.8. Okay, and that angle is actually equals to 180 degrees minus the first angle that you found, 3.130 degrees, which is approximately equals to 126.870 degrees. And then we round that off to the nearest 1 dp, 126.9. And let's summarize our answer. Therefore, angle x, y, and z is equals to 53.1 degrees or 126.9 degrees. And this will be your final answer.